Hey everybody, Ralph Stobioker, Go Hills TV, powered by JBS, bringing more to the table. And it is time uh, to introduce you to our Male Student Athlete of the Month for the month of March. Student Athlete of the Month is presented by your Heidi in a Tumble. We appreciate their continued support. And Mason Harrington, member of our sports shooting team, is our Male Student Athlete of the Month for the month of March. Congratulations to you, Mason. Thank you. Uh, you come to us uh, from North Scott High School, Eldridge, yep. Eldridge Iowa. And we're going to talk about your sports shooting. You've accomplished a lot at Indian Hills, but I want to talk a little bit about other sports. Uh, you're a pretty active kid athletically yeah. in high school. Tell us what you competed in. Yeah, so um, I par participated in about everything in high school. Um, started with cross country in the fall. Uh, that rolled right into bowling. I played baseball for a couple years, and that kind of conflicted with my trap shooting. Um, so I kind of had to make a tough decision there, and I decided on trap shooting, and uh, I'm glad I did. So. Well, tell me about trap shooting a little bit, where you think your passion for that came from. How'd you get started shooting? Yeah, um, so when I was younger, my grandpa kind of got me into hunting and uh, shooting guns. And that kind of started my passion um, for sh being around guns and kind of the sport in general. And uh, our school had a really good trap program when I was in junior high. And I'm like, oh, this would be, this would be cool to try out. And uh, I didn't join seventh grade year, but I joined the next year after a couple of my friends talked about it because I was jealous of them, of course, and uh, it, uh, it started from there, and uh, now I'm shooting collegiately. So, Tell me about coming to Indian Hills. How did that play out? How did you end up here? Yeah, so I originally didn't plan on going to Indian Hills. I wanted to go to a local college close to home, just get my schoolwork done, and uh, start with a career. Um, but Jake reached out to me, the coach here for our trap team, and he's like, hey, I'd really like to have you. Um, would you come down and visit? So I came down for a visit and I liked what I saw and I liked how the team looked and Jake was a great guy and I'm glad I, glad I switched up last minute. So It's worked pretty well yeah. as a team. You guys finished second at the national meet in San Antonio yeah. and you finished 18th out of uh, I think almost 240 competitors. You had a really good outing. Yeah. Tell me about the trip to San Antonio. It must have been a lot of fun and yeah. you seem to be in a zone. Yeah, totally. Um, we had a good trip down, the back door on the bus kind of got stuck, so we kind of had a little hold up there. Um, so that was kind of just the beginning to the trip, but the first day when we got there, I started off strong in uh, super sporting, and I felt really good behind the gun, and the atmosphere that our team had going, and that was really, really strong. And it just carried from one event to the next, and it was, it was really good to see that everyone kind of clicked at the same time. So. Second place is the highest finish for an Indian Hills team mm -hmm. at the national tournament. Congratulations to, Annette, uh, to you on that. 18th in the country is outstanding uh, for you. Uh, talk to me a little bit about how you prepare. What, how, do you, how do you settle in and get ready to shoot? Yeah, uh, so trap for me is really a mental game and it's probably the hardest part to the sport of trap shooting. I think everyone can you know, back that up. Um, Obviously, you got to put the physical work, show up at practice, be there, be involved, work on something every day. Um, but for me, before I get ready to shoot, I like to listen to some music, kind of calm me down or even pump up music to kind of get me back in the zone. Um, because the minute you get out of the zone, I mean, you drop a couple birds and that's the difference between being in second place or being in tenth place. So. All right, and education-wise, a uh, big part, obviously, of Student Athlete of the Month. Yeah. Uh, so tell me a little bit about that side of things. And we were talking a little bit before we started recording. You've got a, you've got a plan in place for what yeah. you want to what you want to be when you grow up. Yeah. So right now I'm studying sports medicine here at Indian Hills, um, taking a couple athletic training classes as well, just to get some experience um, in that area. I originally thought I would be a physical therapist or like to go to physical therapy school. But uh, I'm kind of switching roles here, and I'm thinking medical sales rep. Um, don't know everything about that career yet, but I'm finding out more about it, and I think it's something I'm definitely going to be interested in. All right, let's have a little fun. Uh, favorite food? Oh. If you were to go out here in Hy-Vee right now, all these great choices, where are you heading first? If we... Probably the bacon-wrapped steaks here. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, what about a dream car? If you could have any vehicle, what would you be cruising down the, the road in? Uh, probably a Lambo or a, a big truck. Honestly, just a Chevy Duramax would be cool. That'd be all right? Yeah. Okay. What about, uh, you said you hunt. Do you eat the, oh, yeah, the yeah. stuff? What's your favorite wild game to eat? Uh, I would say venison. Uh, tur it's turkey season right now, which turkey is really good, so I'd say that's a close second. 
What's a pet peeve? What really ticks off Mason Harrington? What gets under your skin? Uh, oh, geez. It's a tough one. Um, just not uh, in practice or related to trap, I guess, just not showing up with a game plan and wanting to work on stuff. Because it's, it's a team effort, but everyone's got to do their part every practice to be ready for that next competition. All right, if you could have any any uh, gun, what would you be? What would be the dream gun? What's the? I'm not a gun expert. I'm not. A... I'd probably go with like a Kohler, uh, which are like upwards of twenty thousand. Okay. I actually just got a new gun. It's a Browning 725, and right now, I mean that's that was always been my dream gun since high school. So. All right. Well, man, congratulations on being the Hy-Vee Student Athlete of the Month. Thank you. Uh, for the month of uh, March, and congratulations on a great uh, great season yeah. for our sports shooting. Mason Harrington, you're watching. Go Hills TV, powered by JBS.